I'm with Shane Evans today. He is the Director of Economic Development at Chattahoochee Technical College. And thank you for joining us and uh, talking about the school. Thank you for having me, Mary Kay. Glad to be on. Well, we've known each other quite a while, um, Mm -hmm. working through the um, horticulture department initially at at what was North Metro Tech and then became Chattahoochee Tech. So um, I'm always uh, very involved with what's going on there because you do such a great job educating students and uh, people in our industry. So uh, in March, I, everything stopped. Mm-hmm. So tell us how, what, what happened at Chattahoochee Tech? Well, basically we were in a good shape at Chattahoochee Tech on March the 13th. We took that time to get ready for going online. Uh, fortunately at Chattahoochee Tech, we have a lot of our courses have a hybrid or online component. So it's just a transition from coming to class to going completely online. And what we're able to do right now is we still have some students trickling in, uh, keeping social distance and wearing their PPEs, finishing up some of the hands-on programs, such as diesel, automotive, horticulture. Uh, So we, I won't say we didn't miss it, but we were in good shape with having all our instructors prepared to go online. Yeah, that's terrific. And some of those, I know it, it would be very difficult yes. um, if you hadn't already had an online component because yes. so much is hands-on. Yes, it, it is. And, you know, that's what we pride ourselves in the technical college system is having that hands-on aspect of it. But with technology now, there are so many simulators uh, with our nursing programs having simulators. There's so many online labs and vendors out there that have that information uh, in our horticulture program with our hort science is 100% online our pest management is as well so that helps out and luckily we had some of those classes in progress and you've got such a great lead instructor in your horticulture department with John Hatfield we do. and I'm I am sure knowing John he loves that person-to-person experience so, so uh, I'm sure he'll be happy to have students you know come back in you know in this industry you're not going to get a student to come five days a week in horticulture and you're not going to get them to come in the summer and the spring. So having the ability to, for a student to come one day a week for four hours or during the evening is really beneficial to the program and help increase our numbers to grow. And you know, you've got great students, uh, many who are business owners who went through the program at North Metro Chattahoochee Tech uh, in the industry. And it's, it really sets the, sets the bar with the standards, with the the education they've received there. Yes. Um, so I understand now you, that you, Chattahoochee Tech is offering an, a series of courses at mm-hmm. no charge for whomever would like to take them. And, and in an area that so many of our business owners can use for their employees. So can you tell me a little bit about that program? Sure, we're working uh, overseeing economic development uh, with the non-credit aspect of uh, where is the Chattahoochee is primarily our enrollments in uh, the academic side. So we work with non-credit, we work with a lot of business and industries finding incentives out there for them, uh, developing customized courses. But uh, working with TCSG, we have 10 free professional development courses that can go on uh, any of the technical colleges. There's 22 technical colleges in the state of Georgia, but for Chattahoochee Tech, if you go to our website uh, at chattahoocheetech.edu, click on non-credit, you'll see free professional development programs, but they kind of focus on uh, soft skills uh, from soft skills, attention management, business etiquette, customer service. And there are about two hour long courses. Uh, Completers also get a certificate on that and that's open for companies to share with their employees or individuals to take those. Not sure how long those will last, but for right now, we're looking for them going through the summer. Well, we definitely will get the word out to our members and and, uh, to uh, you know, everybody we have on our email list because those are such important skills. Mm -hmm. And also for you know, people whose their their kids are home this summer. So yes. many of these students don't have jobs, or maybe have graduated. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, those are the kind of skills that future employees look for when they're hiring. Well, really I appreciate you here and uh, taking the time to talk about those programs and just the great job y'all do at Chattahoochee Tech. You know. Uh, we have been involved. I'm on the advisory board, have been for many years. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, just, uh, is it great to have the relationship with, with you all? Um, mm-hmm. And it, it's a tremendous asset to the industry. 
we appreciate what y'all, I go back to the days when it was Malta. So it's been a long time and seeing the growth of the industry. And, you know, one of the things even on the national level is seeing our industry really uh, take off and a lot more interest. We're seeing student numbers increase statewide in horticulture. And that's great from organizations like yourself. They're really out there promoting it. Yeah, that's great news for the industry. The future is bright. Very well, bright. look forward to seeing you in person sometime right. soon. Good to see you. Hopefully sooner than later. That's right. Thank you so much, Shane. Uh, thank you, Mary Kate.